hello friends I am Simpu from motion tutorials and in this video I am going to show you how to create 3d logo animation in after effects without any plugin so without any further ado let's jump straight into illustrator and get started here you can see I have already created this logo in illustrator using pen tool so you don't need any fill color and stroke in that uh, we want just a uh, uh, shape of this google logo select this logo and uh, just copy this shape and go to the after effects and create new shape layer here and uh, paste this illustrator logo uh, on this shape layer and uh, this is the logo open this shape layer and uh, here you can see mask uh, now let's click on this add button and here you can select path and again click on this add button and select fill on this shape layer so let's duplicate shape layer three times select this shape layer one and uh, control D for duplicate and select shape layer one so here I need just mask one so delete the rest of the mask I don't need that anymore follow the same process in layer 2 and here I just need mask 2 and delete the rest of the mask and uh, layer 3 I just need mask 3 and uh, last one layer 4 I just need mask 4 and delete the rest of the mask as you can see here I have total 4 mask so first select mask 1 and copy this mask property and uh, paste this mask property on path and delete this mask one and uh, select mask two and uh, copy this mask path property and uh, paste on path and delete mask two so follow the same process for mask three and mask four now let's change the color of all shape layers here i have already add fill so you can easily change the color select this shape layer one and go to the top here you can choose color and use this pick whip tool and uh, select red color of this google image and select shape layer two and uh, choose color yellow change color of shape layer three and shape layer four using fill now select all shape layers and press u this is the shortcut key of hidden keyframe and then go to the composition and select composition setting and here click on this 3d render and uh, turn on cinema 4d when you enable the cinema 4d option then you can turn this 2d logo into 3d now again select all shape layers and turn on 3d option and then right click on the timeline and select camera uh, select two node camera and uh, 50 mm click on ok and then right click on the timeline and uh, select null object and turn on this null object 3d option and connect camera with parent and then select null object and press R here you can access to rotate this logo in 360 degree now let's again select all shape layers and uh, here you can see geometry option in each shape layer so let's open this geometry option and uh, here extrusion depth put the value 115 bevel depth put the value 7 and change the bevel style select convex and uh, here you can see the below shape layers automatically change the same value because I have selected all shape layers at the same time now select the null object and let's see the result here you can see the nice depth in 3d logo now it's time to add few lights 
for proper depth of this 3d logo so right click on this timeline and here you can select light and first select spotlight and click on ok then uh, go to the right side of this for view option so here you can see for view at the same time i want rotate of this spotlight so uh, put the 180 value x rotation and uh, drag this spotlight at the back side of this 3d logo and then go to the normal view of this camera and uh, then let's add few more lights and here select point light drag this point light at the top and a little bit adjust and then select point light 1 and duplicate ctrl D and uh, drag at the bottom and a uh, little bit adjust and now let's check how it's work so select the null object and rotate Y rotation logo is looking very nice so last thing you can add material of this logo so logo would be shininess and metallic effect so first select all shape layers and uh, here you can see geometry option so first close the geometry option and uh, let's open this uh, material option here so you can just change this some values of this material option so first uh, change this value of diffuse put the 100 value and uh, specular intensity should be 100 specular shininess should be 100 metal should be 0 and last one reflection intensity 20 so here you can see this value applied automatically on all of these shape layers so let's close all the shape layers it's time to animate this logo so select this null object and uh, here you can see y rotation so create uh, first keyframe and uh, go forward you can create second keyframe so put the value minus one on y rotation and uh, select this both keyframes and uh, right click on it and keyframe assistant and select easy ease go to the graph editor and here you can adjust graph for smooth animation now let's play how it's look if you like this video so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button thank you so much see you next time